An Albuquerque woman spent much of her Thanksgiving sitting on a billboard asking Governor Richardson to keep his word, but the governor's office says they did. The case all goes back to 1999 when the courts say Viola Trevino defrauded her ex-husband and new wife of more than $20,000 in child support. Support for a child which the courts say never existed. Action 7 News reporter Jeff Corkum joins us live with the latest. Jeff. Ellen, for just under 12 hours, Shelly Barreras perched herself after taking a ladder up on that platform under, underneath that billboard. Her goal to get attention, which she did for a strange case of fraud and child support for a fictitious kid. Now the question is, who should pay up? While many people spend their Thanksgiving at home with family watching football, this woman spends hers above the rest, literally, by about 50 feet or so near I-40 and University. It's, it's a little breezy and it is kind of cold. I'm looking forward to a lot of sunshine. Shelly Barreras' message and reason for being here, Governor, keep your word. Barreras claims beginning in 1999, her husband's ex-wife, Viola Trevino, defrauded the Barreras' of thousands of dollars in child support. Courts later found that child never existed and that Trevino forged birth certificates and information. Earlier this year, one of Barreras' supporters claims Barreras met with Governor Richardson to help correct the situation because the child didn't exist where the child support was being taken out. Barreras says Richardson told her he'd help get her money back. A year later, Governor, Governor Richardson, after his promise to do something, has still done nothing. And Thursday, the governor's office said Barreras' account is incorrect. They opened up an investigation with the Human Services Department. That department says they investigated and are currently seeking charges against Trevino in Bernalillo County. As for the money fraudulently taken, Human Services claims they were only a middle person from the Barreras' to Miss Trevino. Human Services says for Barreras to get that money back, as she ends her protests around 3 in the afternoon, she'll need to deal with Trevino herself and likely the courts. Barreras believes her only hope of getting some of that money back is from the state. She says that she's won a judgment against Trevino for more than $20,000, but does not believe that Trevino will ever be able to pay up. Reporting live in Albuquerque, I'm Jeff Corkum, Action 7 News. Viola Trevino is currently behind bars serving a 16-month sentence for filing a false federal income tax return. She claimed the fictitious child on her taxes.